Asset 24 studio. This is the 2012 State of the City Address by Mayor Joe Zinnett. Hello, and thank you for joining me for my 2012 State of the City Address. This marks the midpoint of my second term of, as mayor of the City of Erie. These six years have been a rewarding time for me, my administration, and for our community. We have worked to solve the serious financial problems that our city was facing. We were able to ward off Act 47 state intervention, unlike so many other cities across Pennsylvania. As a founding member of the Core Communities in Crisis Task Force, an organization started based on the work that we did to turn Erie around, I continue to work with leaders throughout the Commonwealth to create legislative solutions in Harrisburg and alleviate the burdens shouldered by our cities. We also continue to revitalize our city and create new opportunities that will attract business and residents. Our downtown is becoming a vital center for the Erie, for the Erie region. Once again, we continue to partner with organizations throughout the community to eliminate blight and construct and rehabilitate more homes than ever, developing neighborhoods that will offer a range of home ownership options. In doing so, we strive to keep Erie a vibrant and sustainable community for future generations. We have realized success in these areas and continue to engage in projects that will enable us to improve the quality of life of our citizens. But we have encountered some obstacles in 2011. We experienced such a challenge with the increase in gun violence. This is not just a local issue. Our cr crime analysis has revealed that gun violence is a growing problem in most of the communities in Pennsylvania. My fellow ma mayors throughout the state point to it as one of their most alarming concerns. I want you, the citizens of Erie, to better understand the challenge this issue presents, and more importantly, how I have been addressing it here in our hometown. So I have dedicated the focus of my discussion today on this critical topic. Although the specifics of police tactics in combating this problem cannot be shared, I feel that an explanation of our overall strategy will help the community in understanding the scope of the problem and gather support for our efforts. In 2011, the Erie Police Department investigated 102 confirmed cases of gunshots fired. These incidents were reported primarily in the areas of East 6th to East 12th Streets, from the Bayfront Connector to State Street, and in the area of West 14th to West 21st Streets between State and Myrtle. There were 58 people injured in gun-related incidents, three resulting in death. This is compared to 38 people injured in 2010, six of these resulting in death. So although we saw an increase in shootings in 2011, we saw fewer gun-related homicides. 42 arrests were made for violent crimes in which a firearm was used. Most of these arrests occurred within days of the commission of the crime and, now, and are now being criminally prosecuted. Through our investigations, we have found that very few of these acts involved juvenile offenders. According to the most recent data from the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms, there has been a significant de decrease in juvenile crime involving firearms. Only about 6% of all crime is attributable to our city's young people. This number is much lower than was originally thought. Although this is a surprisingly low statistic, it does not mean that we can ignore the importance of juvenile violence and its causes. Efforts are underway through our partnerships with the U.S. Attorney and the Erie County District Attorney's offices to implement the Communities That Care program. This, along with the work of the Healthy Youth Development Initiative, will provide positive role models, healthy beliefs, and clear standards of behavior for our young people. This will help to deter them from engaging in the negative activities that could lead to violent crime. It is through these partnerships that we will be able to engage our young people in a clear and positive vision for themselves and to help them to become the future leaders of our community. We have found that the increase in incidents of shooting are related to other forms of criminal activity. They are not random acts of violence. The related crimes include drug dealing, territorial disputes, and retaliation for prior shootings. We have learned that a very small group of individuals are involved in the majority of the gun violence and that these same individuals are known to be frequent offenders by both law enforcement and the community. Law enforcement is aware that criminal suspects are often known by victims and witnesses. This information is not always shared with police at the time of the crime. In many cases, the victims and witnesses are refusing to cooperate with police because they are being bribed, intimidated, or fear retaliation. 
This has resulted in an increase in the number of cases which are difficult for the district attorney's office to prosecute. In these situations, the investigations are complete, but successful prosecution is hindered by failure of the victim and witnesses to appear to testify. Currently, nine shootings remain to be prosecuted because the victim or critical witness refuses to come forward. This is indicative of the type of activity that is giving rise to these shootings and cannot be allowed to continue. I have instructed the police department to make it a priority to identify and arrest any person engaging in the criminal influence or intimidation of victims and witnesses. We are also finding that an uptick in property crimes such as burglary and theft are related to gun violence. Handguns that are stolen from lawful owners in the course of home or business burglaries are turning up on the streets and being utilized in the commission of gun-related crimes. In 2011, the police investigated 63 cases of theft in which 93 firearms were reported stolen. Of these 93, 68 were handguns and 25 were long guns, which are shotguns and rifles. The long guns are rarely used in the course of committing street crime, but rather are sold for cash or drugs. The handguns, however, can be sold, traded, or used in the commission of violent crimes. Erie Police removed 111 firearms from our streets in 2011. They were recovered through traffic stops and the efforts of our criminal, drug, and vice investigators. This is a significant number and has a great impact on our battle to stop gun violence. On average, more than two guns per week were taken off the street, vastly reducing the potential for violent crime. The recovery of these firearms also resulted in 90 arrests and solved many of the related burglary and theft cases. By analyzing recent crime data and focusing on what we know, that there is a strong relationship between gun violence and other criminal activity, we were able to identify a group, a group of perpetrators that are responsible for much of the gun violence in our community. As this information developed, we created a special operations plan to target and remove repeat violent offenders and those involved in gun violence from our neighborhoods. We are also targeting those committing property crimes who are supplying the guns that are ultimately used on our streets. To combat this unlawful activity, we mobilized our neighborhood action team, the saturation patrol, the SWAT team, vice unit, and criminal investigation unit. Our focused efforts succeeded in apprehending some of Erie's highest risk offenders. In the last quarter of 2011, these efforts resulted in the arrest of 39 violent criminals. We will continue these target operations until peace is restored to our streets. There are other operations in place to address the causes of uh, violent crime. The Nooses Bar Task Force, a proactive, multi-jurisdictional group that includes the police, code enforcement, the Erie Fire Department, Erie County Department of Health, and the Pennsylvania Liquor Control Board is working to prevent liquor sales establishments from becoming havens for violent crime. The task force works with bar owners to ensure compliance with local, state, and federal laws and to eliminate crime from their establishments. If tavern owners fail to comply, a bar's liquor license can and will be revoked and the establishment will be closed. Since its inception in 2007, the task force has worked with 15 taverns, seven of which were ultimately closed. By eliminating the criminal activity associated with these establishments, our neighborhoods have become more livable and attractive. Neighborhood watch groups also play a critical role in our mission to eradicate crime from our city. These groups help to empower residents to create safe neighborhoods and promotes a constructive cooperation with law enforcement agencies. At the watch meetings, Erie police officers and representatives from the district attorney's office are in attendance to share information with the residents. The information learned from the citizens in these meetings has proven to be a powerful tool for investigators in solving many of the neighborhood crimes. Through mutual cooperation, watch groups and law enforcement have substantially improved the quality of life and the quality of interactions in our neighborhoods. In 2009, the Mercerhurst College Civic Institute, JCAC, and the United Way of Erie County organized and launched the Erie Together movement. Its goal is to build human and social capital, improve neighborhoods, and enrich lives so that families and the community will become more economically secure. The group is reaching out to businesses, government, 
educational institutions, nonprofit organization, and faith-based groups to create a plan to address poverty in the region. This is an important effort in the fight against crime because statistics show that crime is tied to the level of poverty in a community. I want the citizens to know that instances of gun violence are being pursued rapidly and aggressively by our police. We intend to continue to remove violent criminals from our streets. The neighborhood groups are working to help gather information, leading to more successful and swift investigations. Community and social service agencies are addressing the causes and consequences of increased crime. We are seeing success from these efforts, and I am confident that as we continue to work together, we will improve the safety and livability of our city. But we must continue to work in a unified effort. Residents in the troubled areas of the city do not have the luxury of waiting for someone else to solve these problems. Those who know the source of the criminal activity must come forward. Witnesses and victims must cooperate with law enforcement to remove the perpetrators from our streets, not allowing them to return to commit additional crimes. This is the most effective way to eliminate crime quickly and on a sustainable basis. As we continue to combat the negative influences affecting our community, we must not forget all of our positive efforts to move Erie forward. With our many partners, we work to create the blueprint for Erie's future. Working with the Erie Redevelopment Authority, we have embarked on a very aggressive revitalization program to create neighborhoods that are attractive to families. The lead hazard abatement program has allowed us to rehabilitate 237 homes, with an additional 165 yet to be completed. In addition, we have removed 228 homes from the blighted property list through demolition or, in cases where they were salvageable, rehabilitation. This has helped to greatly improve Erie's neighborhoods, creating housing opportunities and increasing the property values. In our downtown, a major development project between 12th and 14th and French and Sassafras streets continues to progress. The sale of eight condominiums in the Mercantile Building and the relocation of the downtown post office to its ground floor has helped to make it an anchor building that has spurred great interest in the area. The rejuvenated Griswold Park and the current construction of seven townhomes and a coffee shop between 12th and 13th streets on Peach will further enrich the Union Square experience and create an opportunity for future development. This will offer a neighborhood in our downtown where people can live close to where they work and in the midst of Erie's entertainment district. A $42 million major renovation project to the Tulio Arena is now underway. This, combined with the completion of improvements to the Warner Theater, will enhance the cultural, athletic, and entertainment experience shared by those attending these venues. These updated and revamped facilities will, will further complement our work to restore the vitality to our center city. Our Bayfront reclamation of the GAF site continues. We are currently in the environmental remediation phase of the project, which is expected to last through the end of 2013. The vision for the reuse of the site continues to develop through the public and stakeholder input process. When complete, it promises to be an important development for the future of our waterfront. It will serve to support other development and uses of the bayfront and can create new opportunities to benefit our community as a whole. In 2012, we also expect to see the completion of the runway expansion at Erie's Tom Ridge Field. This project has been nearly 15 years in the making and involved the cooperation of many participants to realize its completion. It serves as a reminder of the important progress that can be made when we come together for the good of our region. In closing, in 2012 and beyond, we will continue to address the issues facing Erie head on, formulate constructive solutions, and move Erie forward. We will pursue long-term solutions in the legislative halls of Harrisburg and Washington and maintain the foundation for a strong and vibrant Erie into the future. I thank all of you for your support and patience throughout my time as mayor and ask that you continue to share with me the bright vision of progress for Erie. Together, we can maintain it for ourselves and expand it for future generations. Thank you.